If the Irish were to bounce back, they would have to do it on the road, this time against intrastate rival Purdue. Freshman quarterback Mark Herman was the talk of the Midwest, and he showed why in the first half. Herman connected on this 37-yard scoring play to Ray Smith and enough others to give the Boilermakers 24 first-half points. Irish quarterback Rusty Lish tried to keep the Irish close as he hooked up with halfback Terry Urick for his second touchdown of the day. The Notre Dame defense decided it was high time for a little freshman hazing. They sacked Herman three times in the third period alone and limited the passing sensation to a mere nine completions in 27 attempts in the second half. Herman made the mistake of throwing in the direction of Luther Bradley, who has made a habit of shutting down Boilermaker threats. His fourth quarter interception return gave the Irish life. Dan Devine then made a call to his bullpen for the best reliever in college football, Miracle Man Joe Montana. Montana, in turn, looked for Ken McAfee, the man he has learned to count on in clutch situations. You know, when you see a big target like that, it, and you know if you throw the ball anywhere near him, he's, he's going to come down with it. He's just got super hands and he runs super pat. Just as he had done in 1975 against North Carolina and the Air Force, Montana guided the Irish back from an almost certain defeat. In those two comebacks and this fourth quarter rally, Montana accounted for 52 points, 19 of 26 passes for 417 yards, all in the span of only 15 and a half minutes. Fullback Dave Mitchell fought his way into the end zone for the winning score against the Boilermakers. Montana was named UPI back of the week for his achievements. And though it was he who had inspired the Irish offense and turned the season around, he credited his teammates for the comeback. They responded very well. The receivers caught the ball, ran super patterns, and the line gave me every bit of time that I needed. 